Hey, how's it going? And I thought it would be fun today to share with you how to film a running mannequin in the open world in Unreal Engine. And this kind of picks up where my last tutorial left off. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find it helpful. But there are a lot of little steps and some of it seems a little quirky to me. And I'm still fine tuning some of the steps. But basically this will get you, should get you going, get you in the ballpark. So to get started, we're going to go into games, blank, and just go create. I've had to do this a few times already just because there's always this sort of order of operations and things in Unreal Engine 5.1 seem a little different to me now. So, okay, so let's get started. This is our open world and it's massive. So we have to speed up our camera because it'll take forever to get down here. And I think I might've mentioned this before, but this is, a world on demand this is textured uh, streamed in and if we were to try to film this we wouldn't see anything and I think that's because it's streamed in so one thing we have to do is go into world on world settings and disable the streaming and it says you are about to disable streaming all actors will be loaded yes that's fine so that was the first thing I found out was that I can't film with the streaming on in this world, in this world. And I know that's because this is such a big world. So anyway, now what we're going to do is we're going to get our third person mannequin and we'll go to add feature third person here add the project and we'll cancel out of this. We'll just go into characters, mannequins, meshes, and we'll get our skeletal mesh Manny. He actually is coming in at the wrong orientation for us. So if, with him selected, we'll go on the details panel and under the blue here, under the yaw, we're gonna change that to negative 90. And then what I can do is if I press Alt, I can kind of reposition myself here a little bit and using the WASD. Whoa, 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 F. So what I have to do is I just got lost. So if you get lost like that, just Let's go up to camera and slow it down. And then in the world outliner, we'll click on Manny and just press F. And so it'll come right back. So now we'll hit Alt and just position ourselves up like this. And then it's so funny how you have to adjust your speeds and everything in here. So he's gonna be running. So I'm trying to, and be careful what you're clicked on. Sometimes you'll be clicked on the landscape and you actually wanna be clicked on the character so I'm going to collapse all this right here. So far so good. We're in our open world. We've turned off streaming and now we've got our character who we're going to animate to run. The next step is to bring in a camera. So we'll go up here to Cine Camera Actor and I'll just drag this into the scene like this and it kind of has the opposite problem again but it's in the wrong orientation. I'm scrolling out there a little bit. With the camera selected, I'll come over here and on its yaw, I'll put it to negative 90 and now it's facing toward Manny. Now I want to tell, show you the issue that I had and using these controls, I'm just going to pull out here maybe to about there and give him some running room there and maybe come up a little bit right there. So I'm happy with that shot right there. Then I'll go ahead and put it into focus. Now I wanna to explain to you what happened in my thinking on this is that initially what I wanted to do was parent this camera to Manny so that wherever Manny went, the camera went with him. But because it's a skeletal mesh, you can't parent anything to it. It can only be a child of something else. It won't let anything be a child to it. So it's like Manny has a car and Manny won't let anybody in his car but Manny will get in other people's car. So what we wanna do is tie these two things together so that where Manny takes off running, the camera's going with him. Otherwise, I'd be having to animate the camera and figure out where he's gonna be, and it'd be a big headache. So what I really wanna do is parent the camera to Manny, but I can't. So what I gotta do is put Manny and a camera, basically, you could think of it as in their own car, 
So then I move that car and they go together. So the closest thing Unreal Engine has to something like that, you might refer it from other programs as a null. A null object is what's just called an actor. So we're going to bring that into the scene right here. And honestly, it doesn't kind of matter where it is, just kind of somewhere near Manny, but it's kind of distracting when it's right in front of him. So I put it just, let's put it right behind him so it's not so distracting. But we know it's there. And then what we're going to do, you can test this for yourself if you come over here into the outliner. If you try to drag Manny, if I try to dra drag the cine camera onto Manny, see, it won't, it won't do it. But notice, I can drag Manny onto the null object, and now he's a child, and I can drag the camera onto the actor too. So now I have them both up there. So now they're both parented. I don't know why they say parented, it is childed to that null object. So wherever this null object goes, they go. But I can move these and offset these from this, but wherever this goes, they're gonna go with them. So now I think we're pretty well set up and all we have to do is see if we can get our animation working and get it to actually record. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the sequencer now. Now, I don't want to be on Manny when I do that. I want to be on something else. So one of the glitches, I don't know, when I go into the sequencer now, sometimes it'll have stuff in it already. Right now it doesn't, but other times I've gone into the sequencer and there's stuff already in there. And so what I've noticed is if you go into the sequencer and there's something already there, don't delete it. Right click and go cut, cut it, but don't delete it because then it'll delete it from over here. I found that out the hard way a few times. So let's bring Manny in here. Should I bring Manny? So here's, here's what I think is gonna happen. I'm gonna click on actor and bring the actor into the scene. And when I do that, because those other objects are parented to it, they're all going to come in when I bring this into whether this is collapsed or not. I don't think it matters, but let's go and see what happens. Let's see what comes in when I bring the actor into the sequencer. So I'll go track, add actor and see, let's see what it brings in. So look, it brought in Manny, but it didn't bring, it didn't bring the camera with it. So I'm not sure why that is. So anyway, first things first here, let's go ahead and it looks like it brought in a couple a couple rigs here and I'm pretty sure we don't want this one here and I see we've got our animation tab and I know we want that and I don't think we want this one either but we do want the animation so now I'm going to click on the animation and I'm going to search for run And there he appears to be in running position. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to increase my end frame to 500. And then grabbing this scroll wheel on the bottom, I'm going to stretch out my end frame marker, let's say to 10 seconds. And then I'll come to the running animation. I'm going to drag it out the entire length too. Now I'll go to the beginning of the clip and hit play and see if he's running there. Okay. Fantastic. This is great. So now all I have to do, I got a couple more things to do. We're almost done, believe it or not. But you can kind of see all the steps. Maybe I'm not 100% happy with this angle. So what I could do is come back over here on the outliner, select the camera, go to the It's Details panel, and let me just, I think I want to come down a little bit more. Yeah, like that, okay. Maybe like that, okay. And then I think we're almost good to go. So now he's running in place, like you might have seen in the beginning clip. But now what we want to do is move him along, which would be the x-axis here, and drag him so that it really gives the appearance that he's traversing the terrain, which in a sense he is. So let's go to the actor object. We're going to go to tract, transform, and what we're going to do is we're just going to add a keyframe here. And then we're going to click this key to auto keyframing, I should say. Then we're going to click this control here and get move the playhead all the way to the end. And now we're going to come over here and make sure we're on the actor. And then along the X, we're going to click and drag this character forward. 
and you can let me zoom out here a little bit you can play around with these settings i mean there's nothing carved in stone here and so you can play around to see what looks the best over time i just want to get this working if possible okay so now if i come back to the beginning and i hit play let's see what we see yeah see how he seems like he's not could actually be going over more terrain than he is right there but you get the idea we can make we can extend this out if we wanted to but let's see if we can just get this thing rendered out now to render this out all we have to do we need to add the camera to the scene so we just have to come up here to track we can select the, the camera actor here go to track add the camera to the scene and that's all we have to do we don't have to do anything else and then from here we should just be able to render it out so I'm just gonna what you do to do that is you just click here and I've done videos on how to do this already set it to a PNG sequence and pick your folder and all that and so I'll be back if this was successfully rendered out <laughs> Hey, I'm back, and hey, good news, it did it did render out. So it looks like he could cover more ground than he is, like the ground is slippery, so all you would do is just extend it out. I didn't want to just keep recording without knowing how it was gonna work out. But I've had some issues today, and like one of the issues was the fact that the, the streaming environment was on, and then I wasn't recording anything, and little things like that. But I was just gonna tell you on my settings, that what I did was, I did a PNG sequence, I did it to 30 frames per second, I did increase it to 1920 by 1080, and then I have the compression quality on the highest, and that rendered out. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful, and have fun with Unreal Engine, I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am.